But Sigay, who out in Oregon, ran 354 over 1500 meters for world silver, just five days before she went on then to win the 5000 meters. What's she got to do here, Jenny, pace-wise, to attack this Debarba mark? Well, it's a massive test for her at this stage as we hit two laps to go in 3.11. So she has 62 seconds to do this. Yeah, she's a couple of seconds behind that mark at the moment and we'll try and get an indication what she goes through 1,500 metres in. I was looking, Debarba went through in 3.56.46, so I don't know that we'll be able to see that with the naked eye and I don't know whether we'll actually get an indication, but here we go. Well, somewhere around about 3.41 at the bell would give her a chance, but it looks like it might just be slipping off that here for Gudaf Sergei. She goes out towards the final 200 metres, chasing down this mark of Gonzebe de Barba, which has stood since 2016. 4.13.31 is where it stands. No one's run within three seconds of that. It's been a solo run for her as she grits her teeth, swinging round into the home straight. She's had to do it all herself. Her CV is glittering with medals. She's the world indoor record holder at 1,500 metres. She's not going to add the mile, unfortunately, to that on this occasion. But it is still a stunning run from Gudaf Sige. 4.16.19 puts her number two on the all-time world list behind Gonzebe de Barba. Nudges Eli Pourier-St-Pierre down to number three. What a run.